Hello all traders. Today is Wednesday, 11th of September 2024 and we're going to review the market and also any trades that we're going to take on Nasdaq, Dow Jones and S&P 500 if we see low risk opportunities. So let's look at the one hour micro chart. As you see the price started to go down during the Asian session and it got recovered and bounced back during the London session. And by looking at 10 minute macro chart, we see that after New York market opening and the CPI news, the price that passed the previous day high started to go down immediately after New York market opening. So our plan of action for today's trades is to wait for the price to go further down and retest this level of support here, which is a previous day close or high or go further down. If it goes further down, we take sell short position during the downtrend and if it bounces back we take long positions so we're gonna wait for now and stay tuned till we come back and show you the trades that we're gonna record at 5 time speed when we see any low risk opportunities so we're back and it's 10.15 and the price passed the previous day low level with solid candle so it's good time to take sell short positions repeatedly with setup T in the middle and the upper area of the channel so we took one sell short position on nasdaq and we're managing that and we're waiting for other limit orders on dow jones and smp to be filled as you see on the daily chart we passed the previous low on the dow jones but in smp 500 and nasdaq we are in the middle so we may have some resistance here and the buyers may come back if we reach a round number down. So we're taking one sell short position on Dow Jones. It was a stopped out. We took another one on the upper area of channel on NASDAQ, which was close with a small profit. So we're waiting for a better pullback. Now it seems the buyers are coming back based on order flow and the price is not going down. So I took just one limit order long position on NASDAQ and one on S&P 500 and we're gonna manage this aggressively. We close that with a small profit on NASDAQ and break even on S&P 500. We can take another sell short position now on the upper area of channel. The price is choppy and since we're getting close to the round number around 50, we're gonna take a chance and enter here with setup B. But because the selling pressure is very strong, it's gonna break so I keep I cancel that order and set up limit order around the round number of 13, round number of 10, 6, 10 that has higher chance to rebound. Still the selling pressure is strong so we're going to go for very quick scalp. and manage only this trade tightly. Just close this with profit. Now good time to have a sell short position here if it comes back to 50 and also set limit order on Dow Jones and S&P 500. The sellers were very strong because they pushed the price completely down and it's and the buyers are coming back so we took long position we set up b again and on nasdaq and our sell short position on dow jones was filled which was stopped out our position on s p 500 or sell short position on s p 500 was filled and is now closed with profit So we're gonna wait for the market to decide because 
uh, buying and selling orders are almost identical on NASDAQ, but we see more buying pressures on Dow Jones. So we're gonna enter with long position here and ATM closed with profit. And we're gonna take one long position also on this oversold round number on NASDAQ and manage it tightly and that should be enough for the day so let's wait for the results of this trade and then look at the stats okay this one also closed with profit so we're done for the day and as usual all these trades were copied by copy trader to multiple apex trader funding accounts so we're going to see the performance of this account so as you see we reached positive profit factor of 4.88 which is coming from both long positions, which was around nine and sell short positions around four. This high profit factor is coming from 75% average win rate, 83% from long and 66 from sell short positions. But the average win to loss ratio was higher, 1.81 in long and 1.93 in the sell short positions. The largest winning trade was $265 from sell short positions and also the largest losing trade was $159 from sell short positions. So hope this trade is taken by the path system for faster scalping is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.